What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and today we're going to start on the father-daughter go-kart build. This is my daughter, Aubrey. She's probably going to be camera shy for the first couple of times, but she'll get over it. Um, I'll get you off the tripod and show you what we've started on, on this go-kart. Okay, we started with pulling the axle off of this go-kart. Uh, what I need to do, I had to pull the brake disc off and all the components on the axle so I can mount the axle, uh, well, put the sprocket in, which will, of course, ride in between this, and uh, and then put the brake rotor or caliper and disc on last. It was already on the axle, and I couldn't get it off. And the reason why it wouldn't come off, the keys was stuck, and also someone has painted this go-kart with the axle on it, so a lot of the paint got on the axle and was locking it right up. I uh, got Aubrey sanding the, the shaft and the best way to do it is just take sandpaper like she's doing and it'll get all the all the paint off. We're using I think 320 grip and uh, you don't have to use a real real coarse sandpaper. Use 400, 320, something like that. So you can see how good it looks right there and that with the paint on it. We only need one side clean but I'm going to go ahead and clean the whole entire axle. See which side's the best because I have found there's a few little Let's see if we can get, yeah, there's a few little nicks. I've sent, uh, filed them down a little bit, so nothing will catch on them, but we're going to get this sanded, and uh, we'll pull the camera back out. Just thought I'd mention, if you don't have any of these adjustable Irwin clamps, I highly recommend getting some. These are probably the probably 10 or 12 inch ones. I really need to buy the longer ones. They go all the way up to four foot. I'm sure you can find them even longer if you need them, but so we got this uh, axle. Uh, clamp down so she can sand it and it won't move. Okay, it's been a couple of days since I made the video with my daughter and me working on the go-kart. Um, so basically, I don't know how good I explained it, so we had to take the axle off because it had a coat of paint on it. And the tolerance, tolerances are quite tight on like the brake, uh, the disc brake and stuff like that. So we took it off and I had her sand it and now as you can see behind me, I don't know how well you can see it, but the axle is on now. Um, now I'm cutting a piece of key stock and I'll show you how I'm cutting it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. But. Okay, so I put a leather glove in my vise and got the key stock in there just so I won't chew the key stock up because again, this has very tight tolerances. And I marked it and I'm cutting on the opposite side of my mark uh, with just a standard hacksaw, I guess you'd call it. So, um, but what I got done on this so far, I forgot to go get the bolt that holds the clutch in. And the wa I got the washers already. Those big washers down there are what I'm going to use on that. But all my bolt kits that I have are all coarse thread, not fine thread. So, so we'll have to go to Napa tomorrow and pick that up. But I got all my bolts. They're not tight, and I'm waiting to put the chain on and tension it up. But uh, but yeah, I got the sprocket on, and that's as far as I can get that key. So should be all right for now. Uh, I may knock it in there a little bit more. It's in there quite a bit, but because that little bit's hanging out. Um, also, I'm cutting the key for this disc brake set up right here. And uh, then other than that, I gotta make a plate for that bracket, that throttle cable that I'm using off the 91 laser. Uh, gonna use it as a throttle. Just gotta drill a hole through there and go get an eye, kinda like that one, one that you add on to a piece of throttle cable. But yeah, she's coming along, she's coming along. I uh, gotta also get a, a tube. But I also gotta get a tube for one of her back tires, so uh, we'll have to get that in Napa tomorrow too. Hopefully she'll be riding it tomorrow, I would think. Uh, maybe right after work, I can take the go-kart to get. I traded my welder off like I, I think I stated before. Trade my welder for a table saw because it was either spend 400 on a table saw or trade my welder and just spend 400 later and buy my welder back you know a new one just like it so i picked just a trade so it's no money out of pocket at the time and i can just buy me another welder later and i've never had a welder before i bought the welder and with the intentions for my brother to teach me to weld i know how to weld i put a few beads on some stuff and did really good um but i haven't practiced at all and i didn't practice at all with it so i need a table saw i i do more with wood right now. I'm about to start building a few speaker boxes and some stuff for the house. Um, some uh, we I built a bar and I'm about to build a new mantle for our fireplace. So 
table saw will be handier right now. So I uh, traded for a professional series craftsman. But uh, I'm gonna get this piece of key stock cut off and I'm gonna slap it on that puppy. Okay, after you cut the piece of key stock, you want to make sure to get all those ends off. You see that overhang? Just because, I mean, it's a really tight tolerance. I don't know, most of y'all have probably worked with this stuff before, but for people that hasn't, uh, you gotta know there's, like I said, there's a little, little room for error. So I like to file them down and I kind of round them off, you know, round over the ends. So I know we ain't gonna have any problem. So I'm gonna pop that little puppy in the vise and, uh, ooh, up close and personal. Um, I'm gonna pop this puppy back in the, in the vise and give her a hooch with the file. Um, let me know how you like these vlog style videos. This ain't really like the go-kart build because it's been so flip-flop, wishy-washy. I don't even know where if I can start. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until I got a full project, all the parts to do my main style videos. Um, with the, you know, really nice camera work and, and whatnot. So you'll just have to wait for those to come because right now, uh, I started leaving work early. I used to work till seven, three days a week and uh, just really to get the overtime and tired of it. So I quit, not quit my job, I quit working at the seven, started getting off at five and it's amazing how two hours makes my life completely different. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab the vise and I'm gonna get to hunking on this thing. Yeah, but let me know in the comments uh, below guys if y'all want to see this type of video uh, like i said i'm going to put a couple more out before i make up my mind whether i'm going to do them or not i just don't want to waste my time if there's not the audience there to watch it uh, i know i'm growing slow but i'm also uploading really slow and I'm, i just i'm fixing the problem like i said i started leaving work early and that's going to give me a buttload of time to work on stuff the f100 is going to be back um very soon for me to do a full wiring harness in it new gauges new speakers, radio, and all LED lights on the truck. And then after that, the engine's gonna be done, which will be fully rebuilt, stock rebuilt. He don't, uh, we're gonna put a four barrel, barrel carburetor on it. Barrel, that's how we say it in Tennessee. You got a four barrel on that Ford? Sweet, I love four barrels. But uh, I'm gonna put a four barrel on it, probably an Edelbrock. Uh, I know people are probably gonna yell at me in the comments, Holly better, Edelbrock's a slaughter jet. But, uh, my brother's used them a lot. I'm not messing with the carburetor, so I really wouldn't know which one to go with, but he's used Edelbrock a lot. He said, seems to be like they have less problems. The ones he's had anyways, like I said, I'm not knocking it if you like it. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your moms. Uh, I'll be back with another video in two days, I promise. I'm out.